All right, everyone, welcome back to another Game Vault video. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and look at this. This is a shocker. Firewalk Studios senior concept artist reveals employees are terrified of the future after Concord got shut down. No kidding, and they should be. Anyway, let's get to music and we'll talk about this. Alright, so, oh, who are we talking about here? Amanda Kiefer. We remember her. Anyway, she allegedly revealed that employees of the company are terrified of the future. And for obvious reasons, you don't work eight years and spend, what was it, $200 million on a project only to have it shut down after two weeks when it sells nothing and it creates characters that look like this. And it's just a, a complete and total mess. A complete failure on every level a game could be at this point. As initially reported by Smash JT, Kiefer wrote on X, I was going to DM you after seeing this, but this site makes me pay to do that. So at the risk of getting dogpiled, I'm just going to say this here. A lot affected the art side of Concord, including design by committee, failure some leadership to listen to the art team, etc. She continued, the character concept art team, including myself, is going through an extremely difficult time emotionally, and some of the team no longer want to work in games, design characters, or even do art anymore after this. Congratulations, you realize you don't have any talent. It's a hard moment in life sometimes, but man, go follow your dreams. Do something else, because you guys really blew it here. Anyway, because of this, posts like yours, though understandable, are unfortunately ill-timed. None of us knows which way the wind will blow at the studio. Oh, we know. We are worried, sick, and terrified of the future. Not only that, but we have been shouldering the brunt of the emotional labor as executives, directors dodge most of the blame. Well, everyone's to blame in this, in this abomination. Everyone from the, the owner of the company, the top dog, the CEO, down to the guy that takes out the garbage at the end of the day. I mean, this was a failure of epic proportions. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this before. It was so bad. We've seen small games take a crap. You know, games like, I mean, I think Gollum did better than this. And the Kong game from last year did better than this. I mean, absolute abysmal numbers. This is a triple A game. This is a 5v5 live service game from Sony with Sony backing it. Yeah. Kiefer then added, behind the scenes of all this talk about Concord and character designs, people's livelihoods are at risk. And there are very real financial consequences that might hurt us even more. She concluded, that's just what I can say from our point of view. I'm not saying change course or anything. Us artists like being able to use social media to promote our work and get more jobs. But I'm saying we see this and it does absolutely affect us since we just got our teeth kicked in. Well, if you're expecting me to cry for you or to show you any type of empathy, I'll tell you, no, I, I don't care. I really don't care. You guys... What, what, how did you, one of you guys refer to us as talentless hacks or something like that? You know, gaming developers live in a bubble. And inside that bubble, they live there with the uh, gaming journalists, the mainstream journalists, your idiots that work for IGN and all these other Kotaku and crap like that, these crap publications. And they all sit there and blow each other all day long about what's good and what's great in gaming and what is important. And they're all activists and they're all, you know pumping each other up constantly, pumping up the latest garbage game that's coming out. And then when it comes out and it craps to bed, they all point fingers at me. And when I say me, I mean guys like me, real guys, gamers. You know, the guy that's not willing to spend $70 on a game or $40 on a game or even $1 on a game and give it to a company that doesn't like me and doesn't want to cater to me and tells me I'm not worthwhile. Fine, then survive without my money. And that's what they're learning now, is people are getting sick of that, and they're learning how to not buy these games, not spend their money on them, and make them suffer. Ironically, Kiefer's posts came just days after she claimed that gamers would not have any games to buy at all because they opposed woke ideology being injected into them. She wrote on X in response to a disingenuous post from YouTuber Mighty Queef regarding Bandai Namco embracing diversity, equity, and inclusion. Kiefer wrote, pretty soon these weirdos will have no games to buy at all. There's the mighty queef. 
<laughs> anyway, the above post came just days before Firewalk Studios game director Ryan Ellis announced the game was being shut down less than two weeks after it was released. He wrote on the official PlayStation blog, At this time, we've decided to take the game offline, beginning September 6th, 2024, and explore options, including those that will better reach our players. He also shared that the company will be offering full refunds. While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately, and we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 or PC. If you purchase the game for PS5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. On behalf of everyone who bought this game, thank you. Now, I've seen some people, you know, talking on, on X and all that that seem to enjoy the game. And, that's, you know, there's something out there for everybody, right? The overwhelming amount of stuff I heard about this game was bad. From, you know, I mean, I, I won't play it. I'm, I wasn't about to spend 40 bucks on this piece of trash. I'll tell you that straight up. You know, people say, well, you can't judge... No, you can judge. You can look at something and decide whether or not you want to buy it. You can look at a car and go, man, that car is ugly as shit. I don't want to buy that car. It looks like crap. So you don't buy it, right? There's one reason. This game looked like crap. I didn't want to buy it. Now, when I heard the reviews come out, people talking about it, the the combat was lackluster. The maps were kind of bland and boring. You know, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of negativity surrounding the game, and... When it launched and it didn't even get a thousand concurrent players on Steam, that said a lot. This is a game that was developed for eight years, had hundreds of millions of dollars invested in it, and you couldn't get a thousand concurrent players on Steam. I don't know what the numbers were on PlayStation. I imagine they were roughly similar, even if they were double, even if they were triple. That's not a lot, man. <laughs> it's not a lot. So, you know, it's a failure of epic proportions. But anyway, as previously noted by Smash JT, Kiefer is an admitted feminist who thinks supporters of Donald Trump are brain dead and a dangerous cult. I love that. I love being called those kind of things by literal members of cults and brain dead people like her. She wrote in 2020, I am a feminist. I want to see a woman president more than anything, but she recently completely dropped her progressive agenda and is actively trying to stop progressivism in the party. I'm talking about good old battle axe Hillary here. I can't support that, and there's a lot of people out there, like me, terrified to speak up. In the follow-up, she added, I'm actually really scared to post this at risk of being called a Bernie bro or being otherwise attacked like I have in the past, so I might delete. I do support Bernie because of my ideals, but I am not a Bernie bro, and this was really scary to post. You should never be scared of your opinion. Post it out there. I'm a Trump supporter. You know, he's the best thing to happen to this country in years. He is not a member of the cult. And that cult involves people on both sides that, that you know, there's a left and a right. Those two make up a whole. And all they're doing is uh, raking us over the coals for tax money and stealing money from us <clears throat> and, uh, you know, lining their pockets. Why do you think politicians get so rich? I don't trust any of them. Is Donald Trump a, an upstanding citizen? Yeah, whatever. He's not perfect, you know, but he's not part of the machine. And that's what I like. And he's talking about exposing parts of the machine. He has risked his life, he has risked his fortune and all that to expose these things. But idiots like her, they don't see that. They just listen to MSN and MSNBC and all these other garbage news sites and think Orange Man bad. You know, and that kind of spills over into the gaming culture as, you know, all these gamers are like that too. All these gaming journalists, they'll, they'll say something is good or bad without a... They're just, they say it to be part of the clique, and that's what it is. Everybody repeats what everyone else says, and it's absolute garbage. In October 2020, she wrote, Right now, Trump supporters are filling the streets and highways of my hometown, and the police do not mind one bit while people are intimidated at polls and attacked at protests. This is a dangerous cult, she added. It hurts to see this happening in my beautiful hometown. This is terrifying. I guarantee you don't have any um, anything to back up people being protest or being attacked at protests. In November 2020, she wrote, I'm not sure why more people aren't talking about Trump's 1776 commission, where he will further whitewash the teaching of American history in schools. He wants to make it so slavery, genocide, and the systematic destruction of POC is not taught in schools. She added, he will still be here for a lame duck session. He's most likely going to try to ram this through. This is beyond terrifying. 
So what does this dumb bitch know about politics? Obviously not much based off the way she talks. She's just a, a complete and total fool. But, you know, what do you think about these guys being scared of their future? I mean, the way I look at it is this. Everyone involved in this project is responsible for it to some degree or another. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. And I will stand by this to the very end. If you participated in this and you didn't stand up against the ideology being pushed or anything like that, you didn't give any pushback, you didn't walk away from the job and go look for a job somewhere else because you didn't believe in it, well, then you're part of the problem. And you deserve to be fired, just like everyone does in this position. This was a garbage game. This was a waste of money. Think of what $200 million could have done on a real project, not this weird activist garbage game that came out here. This this trend-following piece of shit that wanted to be Overwatch, but gayer and uglier. I mean, <laughs> what could they have done with that money? They could have done a lot. You know, they could have produced some good games with that. They could have funded a nice indie project. They could have done all kinds of stuff with the, those hundreds of millions of dollars. But no, they chose to flush it down the toilet chasing trends. Sony, this is bad on you too. Whoever works for Sony that greenlit this project, they should be on the streets just as much as this entire studio should be shut down and cast to the four winds. And like she said, a lot of people don't want to work in gaming anymore. Good. Goodbye. Get out. You're a tourist. You don't belong here. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Until then, peace.